Picture. Oh, here we go. Oh, this whole way, this whole thing is so cool. I'm really enjoying this a lot. What are you going to do in the city? Oh, there's always work for a guard. You? I've always wanted to sing at the Elfson Tavern. I expect Leah and Cal to demand yet another showcase of prestidigitation, so I'd like a moment to myself. No problem. Wayne, have your fun. I have a myth to make. Your song was coming along. Yeah, that's fine. Go on. The others will kill me if I keep you all to myself. Okay. Enjoy yourself tonight. Come morning. We've got a hard road ahead of us. Go on, do your rounds. But if they hand you something purple, don't drink it. I think they got into Ethel's potions. Mm. Celebrate now. Come dawn, we depart. Okay. If you're looking for another shot, I'm afraid you've missed it. No, that's okay. That's okay. It's okay, Asterion. Go on. The others will kill me if I keep you all to myself. Carlac. Have fun. You too, Carlac. Make it spicy. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. Charisma, you should join them. Have a pint or two. You're right, there should be no somber occasion. Are you this unpleasant by nature or, cho or, or, or choice? We survived. That's worth all these worth celebrating. You should join them. A pint or two. Friends. Nice. Hmm. Perhaps it'll make the evening more tolerable. I mean, I mean, feel your feelings. <sighs> this party's a bit more bearable, thanks to that pint. Good. I mean, feel your feelings are valid. So feel whatever it is you're feeling. I love how Will is still has that armor on and makes he looks so chill. Have a laugh. Make some noise. I'll be my charming self before you know it. Okay. To beds and hearths. To dirty pubs and dwarven ale. Okay. Eltharel was the last time the three of us talked like this. Let's hope it lasts until Baldur's Gate. I hope so too. And beyond. Cheers to a night we won't remember. This is fun. I love this. I love this. Lie down. Then dance. Do devils even grow turnips? <laughs> Can't all be souls and flesh of the damned? <laughs> That's so funny. There's promise in patience, I assure you. Let the night run its course so that we can run ours as well. Perfect. All right. I'm ready for whatever it is you have in store for me. Ooh, one more ping of gold. I can't afford to lose anymore. Go on, do your rounds. All right. I think we're good. Go to bed. Buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. Who will you seek? Gale. Go to bed hoping to dream of Will. Go to bed alone. It's interesting, yeah, it's interesting that, um... We kind of did flirt with both Will and Gale. The thing is, when I told Get Will I wanted to dance with him, it was purely as friends. Um, but leaving the door open for the possibility of more than friends if Gale is not interested in us romantically. So I think he, yeah, I think Cord legitimately has his eyes set on Gale. But if Gale, again, but if Gale is not, yeah, Gale is not feeling it, then he would go after Will. So we're going with Gale. 
Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? I'm glad they gave you a choice. If you are still, if you're flirting with more than one person. Is that Mistra? Or Mistra? Pretty. Ah, Mistra, the matron of magic herself. An ambitious desire indeed to hold her in your hands. Cut it out, that spell of yours is attracting mosquitoes! <laughs> ah, Mistra, the matron of magic herself. An ambitious desire indeed to hold her in your hands. Oh. My. You startled me. I, uh... It's miles away. Is everything alright? I thought you wanted to show me something. Was that it? Whatever this is, save it for tomorrow. We have a long day ahead of us. Care to tell me why you were conjuring an image of the goddess? I mean, I know why. Is everything alright? Just pondering what I lost. Mm. Mistra commands all magic. Salvation, if such a thing exists, is hers to bestow or withhold. And yet even now, more than I fear losing my own self and soul, I fear losing my command of her art. Magic is... my life. I've been in touch with the Weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. Is it the same for you? It sounds very familiar, yes. It's different for me, not quite so intense. I practice magic, not melodrama. Magic is music, poetry, and beauty. Though I suspect you and I perform it differently. Would love to see how you perform, though, though, Gail. Fair enough. Though in the end, we're still playing the same composition. Yeah. Perhaps I can show you what I mean by reaching into the weave together. Oh. Uh, it's getting late. Well, no, by all means. Then follow my lead. Oh, okay. Okay. Now you. This is very sweet. Bard, intimate the gesture with ease. Imitate the gesture. In intimate. Intimate the gesture with ease. Sleight of hand. Imitate the gesture quickly and decisively. Arcana. Imitate the gesture slowly and as precisely as you can. Performance. Imitate the gesture with a flourish. I feel like I have to do it with a flourish. Actually, never mind. Magic is not for me. Sleight of hand, arcana. I kind of want to do it with with a flourish. Yeah, let's do it with a flourish. I want to see I want to see chord flourish. Let's see the flourish. Ooh. You feel something strange. Like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time. It's warm and comfortable. Mm. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. Athran Mistra Ril Kantrak Eo. An easy incantation. Simply repeat after Gale. Repeat the words slowly but carefully. You're, you sense power in these words. Speak them deliberately. Bar performance. Belt the words with a little flourish on Oh Eo. Actually, I dislike tongue twisters. Just call it a night. I gotta do it. Yeah. Nice. I love this. Ah, oh, yes. The scent of rose water and a sense of well-being. A sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue. Ooh, this is Very good. spicy. Now, I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony. As true as you can. I just need to take a pause right now. First of all, this whole thing just feels so intimate and so pure. Just watching, this is a very creative way of spending quality time with um, a wizard um, in a very charming way. Like Gale is just trying to have Gale sort of teach us how to do this spell and just the narrator describing the sensations, how it's actually like, exciting and triggering each of your senses and feelings and emotions is amazing it just feels so 
like it's like a big warm hug which could either be very platonic or sensual harmony comes easily to you allow it to wash over your mind and magic think of it here now this is an unexpected moment of learning recall the memory of early youth a happy family moment this too, too, that's too abstract for my taste let's just forget about it yeah harmony comes easily to me They look so cute together. You see, or is it sense, the unmistakable presence of Mistra, the Lady of Mysteries. There's something like the anticipation of a kiss, then the pleasure of being clothed <gasps> in peace. You are safe. You are nestled in the cup of Mistra's hand. <laughs> wow. You did it. You're channeling the weave. How does it feel? The only thing about this thing that... The only thing about this whole thing is that they're mentioning that Mistra's presence is here. You can feel Mistra's presence as you're looking at each other's eyes, like, as if you wanted to kiss each other. I'm like, are we about to have a threesome with Mistra? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> If that's what it takes to be with Gale, sure, why not? Cord is like all in, fine, whatever. If we can, a, a threesome with a goddess of magic, as long as I can be with my my wizard prince, fine. Magic, sensual, magical, sensual even. Effortless, you're a wonderful teacher. Bard, incredible. Though of course, I could have managed it myself. It make, feels like a good time to call it a night. Magic, sensual even. That it does. The weave connects you. The moment feels intimate. Mm -hmm. Hold on to the moment. It's a good thing. It's a good night for intimacy. A satisfying end to a wondrous experience. Time to let go. You're in no mood to be so close to Gale. Release your grasp on the weave. No, hold on to the moment. It's a good night for intimacy. You realize the weave is making you one. You have but to imagine your desire, and Gale will know it. Picture. Oh, here we go! Oh, this whole way, this whole thing is so cool. I'm really enjoying this a lot. Romancing, romancing Gale is so much fun. Picture kissing him with tenderness, then with passion. Picture a romantic walk. Your hands slipped with with within Gale's. Picture a healthy meal with Gale. Food and friendship flowing between you. Picture kicking him in the gut. Picture his severed head on a spike. Picture nothing. This is a bad idea. I like how there's different... I love how diverse each of these options are. If you want to have something that's really, like, physical and passionate with Gale, you can have it. If you want something that is, you know, I'm not ready to be... To, I'm not ready to, you know, move to fourth base with you. It's okay. You can just do first base or what something that's less, you know, less too much at all at once. Uh, a little more casual. If you want to just be BFFs, if you just want to have a bromance, just being best friends or a bromance with him, you can. So, yeah, picture kissing him with tenderness, then with passion. I, I didn't think. You perceive quick-fire gusts of embarrassment, trepidation, and finally, elation. Sorry, I wasn't expecting, but it is a pleasant image, to be sure. <gasps> he likes... Most pleasant, in fact. Aww. Most welcome. Aww. The weave evaporates, and as it does so, you realize the night feels suddenly cold. And lonesome. Oh. Oh. There it goes. How easily things slip away from us. No matter how hard they were in the obtaining. Ain't that the Good truth? night. <gasps> I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. I enjoyed that too. I enjoyed that too. We didn't actually kiss and we didn't actually do the deed. <sighs> but you know what? It was enough. It was I enough. I trust you enjoyed your evening? Yes, I After did. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done. Moonrise Towers beckons. 
I've told you all I know. And now I'll join your camp to help you face whatever's to come. With luck and the Oak Father's blessings, we might actually survive. Are you ready? I am. Onward then. We'll speak soon, I'm sure. Nice. Um, so grateful for our help, the Tieflings are celebrating their victory. Time to have some fun. Damon must have left with the other refugees. Um, oh, Damon must have left with the other refugees. Oh, I didn't have a chance to do the hard thing. But we can get it later, I think. Um... Okay. Well, hopefully we'll see him soon. I do want to talk to Gale, though. Always a delight to speak with you. What can I do? Ooh, a delight to speak with me now. Can we talk? So what did you think about what I pictured when we were connected by the weave? I'm glad we can confront that to him, with him, like, as soon as possible. I never leave it's so easy to cast magic. I mean, you are a bard. I assure you it's not. Don't get me wrong. You did well. The somatic component, the verbal component, even the focus on the inner self that invites Mistra in. But I was still your conduit. To mm. perform such a feat alone requires much and arduous study. Mm -hmm. Yet it is life's most worthy pursuit in my impartial, if not humble opinion. Feel free to be my conduit anytime you want. Anytime you want, Gail. So what did you think about what I pictured when we were connected by the weave? Oh, I was surprised. But pleasantly so. Just like I said, amid the madness that has befallen us, it seems almost out of place to think of a kiss. And yet, now more than ever, it's important to recall what makes us human. Well, you know what I mean. A stolen glance. That sudden heartbeat. Sometimes the little things are worth more than kingdoms. They promise things to come. Oh, promise things to come. I will leave it at that. All right. Thank you, Gail. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Halson, can we talk a little bit more? Oakfather's blessings to you. Thank you. How much do you know about the parasite? How will the grow fare without you? This shadow curse you spoke of. What are the secrets under dark? Feels like you have feel responsible for the shadow curse somehow. Do I know? Wow, there's a lot. There's a lot. Hold on. There's a lot of things we can talk to him about. I'll save that for next time. Hello, everybody. So, through the power of time travel, thy name is uh, Loaded Saves. I was a little... I was a little disappointed that Damon, who I really did want to get to in order to help uh, with Karlak's storyline, uh, had ended up leaving along with the rest of the Tieflings. I mean, it makes logical sense, and I should have known that in the first place. Um, and I presume because the mission is still active, that um, it doesn't mean that that opportunity to find Damon is, uh, won't ever reveal itself later i presume you can run into him later on but but i'm not willing to wait <laughs> i'm not willing to wait that long um especially because i i re for the purposes of this let's play i i want to try to stay on top of each of the individual characters backstories as often as possible and so Especially since Karlak is a character that we acquired very late um, in this act. I don't want to delay her storyline even further. So I'm just going to go back and find Damon and then just redo everything that I did. And we'll meet you after that. So Plus there's a lot of characters that we didn't get to talk to last time. Like Locke. My horns for a normal day. Locke is a very handsome, handsome fellow. We didn't die today. Tomorrow, perhaps, but not today. Thanks to you. You're very welcome. I pray next time I square up to a goblin, you're there again. Hi. You're welcome. Boulder's Gate, we're coming. I like your hair, Arabella. Let's go. 
Everyone's so slow. We'll go in the plot when I advance the plot. We couldn't have held them back on our own. Thank you. Also, I was wondering if, if um, stay safe out the, there. You the hear? prisoner showed up. Like the prison, the we'll have a chest. If the guy that we saved what do you think showed up. A cart, in Baldur's Gate? a cart, like on the street. Exactly. Noble types won't want a tiefling cooking for them, but common folk. A cart sounds fine, but do I have to haul it around? Until we make the coin for a proper ox, maybe. <sighs> Back to worrying about road rations it is. So many mouths to feed, but, well, that's not a bad problem to have. No. Thank you, truly. You're very welcome. This lot better get used to berries. I do like berries. Probably not as a main source of nourishment. But that could go to Sterian. Don't let that place cast the shadow. Glad to see some goblin blood spilled for a change. I'm sick of running from those rats. The roads ought to be safer now there's a few less goblins skulking about. I nearly dispatched those goblins myself, mm -hmm. but it seems you managed well enough. Mm -hmm. And why wield a masterwork where a butcher's blade will do? My thanks, truly. You're welcome. They'll sing songs about this, you know. They simply don't know any better. It was you, right? You took care of the goblins. I knew you were a good one. Looks like we're good to go. I'm glad. Okay, let's keep talking more people. Like, we didn't talk to Aaron from before. So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. Any excuse to get some gallons. I get goblins. I just want, I'm just glad I could help. As am I. And I'm sure those poor refugees would quite agree. Yeah. Of course. All right, let's unload more of our stuff. Still have another one of these. That'll go to Lysel, most likely. Gold ring. Gold ring. Um, carnelian ring. Dark ring. Emerald ring. Don't think I'll need boots. Carlax boots. Ah, oh, we got better boots than that, Carlac. Draw leather gloves. Don't really need that. You can have some Thara's and a bottle and... Tasteful boots. Okay, get rid of all this stuff. Apprentice's journal. Fables of Faerun. That we don't need. This we need for Karlac. Um, I'm gonna keep my gemstones. That one I'll just keep for right now. And I didn't think anyone else padded armor. Um, I don't think we needed this. And yeah, you can sell all your wares. And I think, yeah, these are all camp supplies which we're going to need. So, we are good in that department. Do you have any new stuff that's really cool? Ring of Flinging, the wearer gains 1d4 bonus to throw damage. Uh, I mean, we don't have any rings. That might be worth it. Peculiar clothing chest. Um, gloves of missile snaring, intercept missiles from ranged weapons, reducing your damage by 1d10. Hedge Wander Armor, Balance, and Saving Throws. Let's buy this ring because it's not that expensive and we really don't have any rings, magic rings. Chain Mail, Ring Mail, Heavy Armor, Scale Mail, Chain Shirt, Hide Armor, Leather Armor, Padded Armor. Okay, that's good for now. We can always get more later. May you keep balance. Yeah, okay. Soldier. Send that to camp. And this ring 
I can use this to propose to Gale at some point. Find a way forward. And then just make sure that there was nobody else here. Seems like everyone. Recruitment poster. Okay, just make sure that. to put my hands on everything. Make sure there's nobody left in here. I don't think there's anyone left. Yeah, it's all abandoned. Ooh, does that mean we can open this chest now? Nice. Carla, let's, let's open the chest. <laughs> Who needs a Starion? We have our own lockpick. Come on. Oh. Um, no, no, no. We have our own lockpick. Viridian crystal. What does a Viridian Crystal do? What's a Viridian Crystal? Um, why am I not seeing the Viridian Crystal? Picked up one Viridian Crystal. But it didn't end up in her inventory. Am I blind? Silver in it, bronze ingot, caravan. I'm gonna have to look up what the Viridian Crystal is or why we didn't end up getting it. Alright. I'll take this. Oh, I never looked at this area. I never went to this area. Okay. It's a good thing I came back. Camp supplies. Camp supplies. So many camp supplies. All the camp supplies. What's up here? What did I miss up here? Oh. Totally did not see this. Okay. Can I jump there? Like a brisk stroll through the forest. Oh, this takes me to. Have we been here? I think we've been here, right? I'm pretty sure we've been here. A girl could get used to this. Pretty sure we've been here. Forgot. Oh, this is where we are. Adoin. Yeah, yeah. All right. Adoin's still there. Huh. His corpse is uh, staying pretty darn preserved. I'm wondering if somebody was hanging out here, like one of the tieflings is hanging out here. Backpack. Nothing. Okay. Alright, well, how do we get back? Why is the rest of you all not coming with me? Oh, can you not jump this far? Let's march! Sharp as ever. <laughs> it's a little annoying if we can't jump back. Is that blood? Oh really? At the ready. Can't they all just teleport to me? Ugh, 
I don't want to have to waste. This is annoying. Alright, you know what? Let's just teleport to... Let's just teleport back. Now we have to walk all the way. I have a lot on my mind yeah. and well, in it. If there was a waypoint in within the druid circle itself, that would make things so much more convenient, but I hadn't found one. Oh there he is. There's Damon. There he was. You are very elusive, sir. We were looking you're high demand. I thought I sensed an inferno around here. But you aren't from Elterel. What's your story? I spent a good bit of time in the hells. Enlisted against my will by the Archdevil Zariel. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Elturel. The devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. I thought they had you for keeps. Glad you got out. I got lucky. It looks like you did too. And... You brought some infernal machinery with you. A little gift from Zariel. Keeps me burning hot. Very hot by the smell of it. Might be burning out a piston ring or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Be my guest. But don't get too close or your eyes will melt shut. Yeah. You really are burning up. Whoever put that engine together tried to house metallurgized demono valves inside a Ragnax alloy casement. Very risky. Oh, wow. I might be able to help. But I'd need infernal iron. And a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. We... That thing isn't meant to operate outside of Ernest. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running the way it's going. Well... Will you be able to turn down the temperature a little? Worried I'm gonna go in for a handshake and singe someone's arm off one of these days. I'd worry about surviving the night first. But help one, help both. If we can cool you off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. Perfect. That'd be nice. It'd be nice to be able to hey, give soldier. her a hug. soldier. I think we picked up some of that infernal iron already. What say you? Should I give it to of him? Of course. <laughs> to help you survive another night? Yes. Absolutely, let's see what he can do. I'm not sure. Should we be tampering with an infernal machine? We'll keep our eyes open for some iron. First, I'd like to show what infer I'd like to know what the infernal iron is worth. Could we it's it's not worth more than Carlac's life and ability to you know, ability to touch people. Absolutely, let's see what you can do. Please let this work. Mmm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. And I think... There. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect me that kind of aid. I was like, doesn't that require like some surgery or something? That feels... Good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... Changeable. Cheers, mate. Yeah, Pleasure. thanks. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Enchanted coolant? Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. Perfect. Take care, Karlak. And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way. Hmm? Perfect. I miss my that was fortune. worth it. You saved us. I wasn't sure we'd make it through. Alright. Karlak, are you feeling better now? 
Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. Cool. That's something. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Well, I'm glad you got help. Let's run some evil. Let's run some evil for you to smack. Then we'll find more infernal iron and get that second upgrade too. I still can't touch you though. We'll find more infernal iron and get you that second upgrade too. Sooner rather than later would be good. I feel like I'm burning serious fuel. Yeah. Cool. Keep an eye out for more iron. Let's find some. Uh, will you be all right? Oh fuck yes! I'm ready to burn all night. Nice. Speaking of, I could eat a giant badger. Is it almost time for dinner? Yes. Wait for the party. Wait for the party at camp. You will have all the dinners. All the dinners you can desire. Okay. So we miss these too. Flip that over. Onion. Nice. This will be good for the feast. For the feast. Whole chicken. Nice. Okay. Well, that is good. Well, well, and now that nobody's well. here anymore, nobody cares if we take any of this stuff. It's not and... really stealing anymore if they just left it behind. Okay, and also I realized where the Inner Sanctum Library was, so we can get that reward. A parasite. Take it. It might be useful. Where? From the Dissected Drow? Mind Flare, Cyanonic. Oh, that thing. Sure, why not? I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Hastily written note. Dear Net, my dear Nettie, I entrust you decide. I entrust you with the circlet to open the library. Wear it always. If you need to enter the vault, talk to Wrath. He has the rune, but won't give it to anyone. So be sure to have a good reason to ask. Protect my research while I'm gone, and take care of the animals. Don't give fish to Tuffet. She's getting lazy. Oh, fish helps. Is all can also get Tuffet off of the elevator. Notes on the Drow parasite. Anam anam. Anatomical sketches of both a drow and an illithid tadpole are accompanied by notes written in an urgent scribble. The parasite was nestled deep in the brain matter, illithid undoubtedly, yet the host seemed unaware while alive. No visible signs of ceramorphosis on the cadaver. Most strange. The final note is a single underlined word. Altered? Huh. Uh, Halson's journal. Extraordinary happenings. While meditating in the forest, Nettie and I were ambushed by a pack of goblins, led by a drow. We had no choice but to defend ourselves. Ah, uh, drow's no, no longer here anymore! But that is not the extraordinary, or rather disturbing part. On the drow's death, a parasitic creature emerged from the corpse and attempted to escape. I managed to capture it and the host's cadaver here in my study. I have told no one of my fears. Nettie suspects, but knows better than to ask. I will investigate further before informing the others. Kaga will demand answers I don't have yet. I had better record any further findings in a separate volume and keep them upon my person. Lest prying eyes jump to the wrong conclusions. Oh, so there's more to Halson's diary. Halson's pipe. I don't want to take Halson's pipe. Um, the desiccated. Damn, drow. it's good to be alive. Drow's letter. Surprise! Didn't take this. Track the druid, find whatever burrow he runs to, and report back to me. Remember, you are only a scout. Do not engage. Do not kill anyone. Simply observe and return. I, sh I shall decide what to do next. I'm assuming that M stands for Minratha. Can't give up now. Let's check. Where did you get your? How many drow are out there? Minthara. Not anymore. Where did you get your tadpole? The corpse remains silent. It doesn't understand the he question. Was unaware of the of the tadpole. Uh, where did you start following the absolute? Moonrise towers. Initiation. It figures. Okay, it figures. Who would have thought? It figures. Uh, what happened to you? Who killed you? Were you abducted by mind flayers? I think 
that makes that would make no sense. No. Oh, you weren't abducted by mind flayers, but he has the parasite anyway. Um, what happened to you? Scouting. Found druids. The spell's power wanes. You can ask. Okay. Swift as my feet Rune can carry me. Eagle. Empty socket. Sightings record. Might be useful. A long list of owl bear sightings in the region, separated by date. The latest entry, written a ten, a, a ten day ago, says cub. The word is underlined several times. Well, we didn't actually kill them. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and put the rune in here, shall we? Um, there's the rune. We just acquired it. Here it is, the rune of the wolf. Then Oh, there's more more stuff over here. Don't be shy. Personal account. Let's ride. Hello. In Catherick, I see our failures made manifest. He did not fall. He was pushed. His grief was twisted by shadow, and still we did not act until his light was all but snuffed. So now that I did the rune stuff, what do I do next? What is it? Oh, still breathing. Okay, despite everything. Rune of the bear. Rune of the elk. And rune of the wolf. So our reward awaits down here. Hidden vault. Have to keep Secrets going. aside is the sword coast exposed. Druid note. The emerald enclave won't send help, even if I ask. This land is wounded and the rot is deep, but it's a deep everywhere. I can't wait for to help for help to come, but perhaps I need not face the darkness alone. A spear. It's another spear. Which I'm not great at. Beautiful glaive. So why does touching it give me a knot in my stomach? That's a very good question. It's a secret society of the Sword Coast exposed. Oh. Potion of greater healing, potion of animal speaking. Scroll of Horde First, scroll of animal friendship. Send one to camp. Lots of stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here. Cool. Anything of use? A lot of stuff in use. Ooh, robe of summer. Gains resistance to cold damage. That might be a good one for Gale. Yeah. Or the pride of the gate. Spider silk. Avengers Constitution saving checks. No one back home will ever believe this. Sharp as ever. Uh, Still alive. So that's. Progress. I may give this to Gale because this looks like a something that would suit him very well. Might suit him better than the outfit he's wearing right now. Light on my feet. Secret society. Okay. Here we go. Cool. Cool. We got some cool stuff. And what does this spear do? I didn't check to see what the spear did. Sorrow, Sorrowful Lash, Transmutation Cantrip, pulls a creature three meters closer to you. Okay, I don't know if, nobody's really like, specializing in spears. We're getting a lot of spears, um, which is not a great item for my bard because it's strength based, not, it's, if it was a finesse, 
I'd weapon, I'd give it I'd give it to board, but Oh. Oh Gotcha. That's okay. That takes me to the library. Got it. Okay. Now this all makes sense. Okay. This all makes a lot more sense. Oh, there's Afira. I was looking for her. I want to have a Alfira. I'm going to have to write a song about you now, aren't I? But truly, thank you. It's nice to be done with the sad songs. For a time. Yeah, for a time. For sure. And playing for coppers in the corners of Baldur's Gate. I can hardly stand the glamour. What's your idea? A little fun. Uh, what the hell's... Sex. Passion. Fun. Yeah, I know. I know it's on your mind. Well, it's easy for some, of course. You and Gail seem to be getting on very well. Oh! Oh! I wonder if he uses magic in the bedroom. Uh, that could go very well. Uh, or very badly. Are you jealous, Asterion? Uh, I'm feeling jealous, are you? Oh, this is so cool. So I, I ended up talking to Gale first before everyone else. Um, so this is neat that Asterion actually references the fact that we're getting closer to Gale. Uh, although it should have been pretty obvious even before that. Um, but this is neat. I like that and Asterion seems to be really into- I wonder if he uses magic in the bedroom. Well, I mean, Asterion, if you're open to it, I think- I think in- I think Cord would be open to it. I, in real life, I don't think that's my thing. But I think Cord would be open to maybe hanging out with both Gale and Asterion at the same time. As long as Gale's into it. I don't- I'm not really sure. I don't know if Gale would necessarily be into it. I'm pretty darn sure Asterion would be into it. But I'm not sure about Gale. Um, <laughs> feeling jealous, are you, Asterion? <laughs> no, my love. I'm not jealous of the walking encyclopedia. You should be. But you go ahead. How fun. <laughs> oh, he's totally jealous, and I love everything about it. <laughs> if you're looking for another shot... I'm afraid you've missed it. <laughs> All right. I guess he's not interested in in uh, hanging out with me and Gail. That's fine by me. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. I saw you with Gail. You two looked cozy. Ooh. Far be it from me to judge. Blood must still be running a little hot after everything. I love that she referenced that. Strange. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible. Take you and Gail, for instance. Oh! Don't think I haven't noticed the sparks flying. Well, I mean... He's a good egg. He is. A little scholarly for my taste. Not but for I'm me. I'm sure you could crack his spine like a new book. Oh my! Carla. Good to see the two of you getting along anyway. At least one of us is getting a little action. Carlac, I'm sure... Though... You know... If oh. you wanted to meet up later, maybe we could meet up later. Uh, I, st I love how forward she is. Carlac in another universe, in another Let's Play through. 100%, yes. I would be all in. I would be jumping on board of that train so fast, yes. But, but, my canon is going to be with Gale. However... You're definitely up there in my list to Karlak in another universe. Oh, this is so cool. I love that they're referencing Gale. I wish that they had referenced him regardless if I spoke to him first, but it's it's okay. It's fine. I guess the, the mechanics of the game wasn't sure if I was still romancing Gale since I hadn't spoken to him before everybody else. Uh, so um, it's kind of helped confirm things. But no, Karlak, someone like you with your personality and your your hotness and i'm just obviously not just talking about the engine in your chest you'd get some action girl i'd be shocked if you didn't get some action anytime soon you know there's someone else carlac yeah i know but you only live once and if you never throw your dart you'll never hit the bullseye i, I admire that and i respect that 
And I'm sure it took, as brave as she is, I'm sure this is probably one of the scariest things for her to do. It's to like, you know, open herself up and put her at, herself at risk, put her feelings at a vulnerable place. And I 100% respect that. Um, you really are something, aren't you? Keep throwing. I'll, I'll say I appreciate that, but I'm afraid it's a miss this time. Yeah, I, just the best I could do is not lead her on. Just let her understand, I like you, Carlac, but I like you as a friend, and I hope that's okay and that's enough. I hope that's okay and that's enough. Uh, that is agonizing. But I get it. I guess. I appreciate you understanding. Well, look, soldier. I won't always be too hot for words and deeds. You may regret to find that I happen to be very touchworthy. I, I'm sure. The searing lethal. I know flames. you are. I have never doubted enjoy that. Enjoy the party, and enjoy so and so too while you're at it. So and so. Now. It's just it, I can't help it if I don't swing that way. I'm sorry, Carla. Cheers to you, soldier, and to me if I do say so myself. I'm wondering if Will. I'm not sure. I'm wondering if Will has anything, says anything about me and Gale. Especially if I offer to dance with him. Because yeah, I still want to dance with him as a friend. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. Of course I would have noticed. Uh, there was no party with her. Either. Really? I'm honored. In truth, I don't feel in a festive mood. And I didn't want to cast a gray cloud over the night. I'm a devil. I love the people from the Grove, but I unsettle them deep down, as I seem to unsettle everyone nowadays. I don't... You don't want a devil at your party. Yeah, no, I don't... I don't agree Claws with you. will pop the balloons, you see. And the sweet cakes don't taste half as good as raw eggs with this blasted forked tongue. You don't unsettle me, you know that. If only half the world had half the heart you do. But, off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. But I want to dance with you. I wish you were there, but I'll expect to meet your feet. Can you tell him, Father? I want to dance with you. <laughs> I'm afraid my feet are firmly planted to the ground this evening. Sometime alone beneath the stars, and I'll be back to my old self. Promise. Still, it's a night to remember. You've made sure of that. Have a laugh. Make some noise. I'll be my charming self before you know it. Okay. All right, so Will didn't actually make a comment about Gale, which is fine. It's fine. Even though I did offer to dance with him as as friends. Lizelle's probably not going to have I any have dialogue. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. I smell their blood on you still. I smell your moisture. How torturous for us both that I'll never get a taste. Yeah, how torturous. Oh, but do enjoy yourself this night. I intend to myself. Will looks particularly tempting. Ooh, I would, I would ship those two. Celebrate now. Come dawn, we depart. Will is very, I mean, Will is very tempting. Everyone in this party, if I'm if I'm being honest, everyone in this party is tempting. All right, so I do think we are all caught up now from where we left off last time. So let's talk oh, a lot Father's with Halson. Blessings to you. Oh, and to you as well. Let's. We've got a lot of dialogue to get through with Halson, and I want to exhaust it before we continue on. So I have to ask, how do you know so much about the parasite? I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Right, that drow we saw. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. Yeah. How will the grow fare without you? Hopefully. I've chosen a successor as first druid. Francesca of the High Forest. Ooh, Francesca. I sent a bird to summon her. Cool, I, I would love to meet her. What about one of the others? Wrath, perhaps? Could Nettie take over? I'll trust your judgment. What about one of the others? Wrath, perhaps? Wrath has promise, but he's not ready yet. The Grove needs experience and a strong hand. And not Kaga. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. 
What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. That's smart. This is why I chose Francesca. That's smart. She will restore simplicity and purity to the grove in my absence. I hope so. Yeah. Very shrewd of you. Won't this cause resentment? Sounds like the grove will be in good hands then. Very shrewd of you. Contrary to how some think of us, we druids can play politics when necessary. This shadow curse you spoke of, surely it can't be that bad. It's had the whole region around Moonrise Towers in a chokehold of darkness and despair for years now. Mm. Those who remained are shadow cursed. If you don't die at their hands, then you become one of them. We have to get to Moonrise. But the less time we spend in its blighted surrounds, the better. Okay. What about this secret stronghold in the Underdark? You must know more. Precious little. But I'm quite certain it can still be found. Aradim was convinced there was a hidden entrance in the Temple of Saluna. I'd start there. Sounds like a separate recording session there, Hulsin. Uh, seems like you feel responsible for the Shadow Curse somehow. Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. Okay. Do you know how the Shadow Curse can be stopped? Perhaps. But we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse, then there will be more to be said. Can't have been easy understanding your surrendering our title. Won't you miss being first through it? Miss it? <laughs> oh dear no. It's a terrible burden. It takes you away from nature and forces you to deal with others' problems and personalities. I kinda prefer be that. Wary of anyone who actually wants such a role, I say. Likely they don't understand it, or they have ill intent. I'm just glad to be out here amidst the Oak Father's creations. Yeah, I guess it's a lot more peaceful and simpler. At the celebration of the Tieflings before, I hope I didn't come over too strong, got caught up in the moment. <clears throat> there are few things that are too strong for me. And cast those regrets aside. You did not get caught up in the moment. You seized it. In other circumstances, I would have done the same. Oh. Uh, you would have done the same? Perhaps. But best to not dwell on nights past. There are plenty more yet to come. Okay, another playthrough where I romance Hulsin. <laughs> Hulsin, for sure. I take it back. I think Hulsin is my my second. He's my second um, uh, uh, character that I would romance besides Gale. Uh, how are you faring out here at camp? With such stimulating company? <laughs> Never better. I'm glad. All right. Complete rescue. Nice. So, Wrath was grateful and put us in a hidden vault. The road is finally safe. The Tifas have, have, have left for Baldur's Gate. Damon must have left with the other refugees. Yeah. Damon upgraded Karlak's engine but couldn't repair it yet. He'll need time to think of a solution. We should find him at Baldur's Gate and bring Infernal Iron with us. With the Gross fate decided, Halson has joined us as we embark for Moonrise Towers. There we may discover more about our infection. Okay. All right, there are still a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, loose ends I do want to tie up. Well met. So, I'd like to meet Camper sure? now. The blade stands at the ready. And just when things were warming up. We still have Karlak, though. Um, so, I do want to tie up some more loose ends. Um... But like I want to go to the lotions and potions check 